What is guys, your boy Coach G, so I'm here to talk about, I don't know, now I'm joking. Um, so I'm here to talk about cheaters, and the big thing about cheaters is like, this is from my experience, I just want to let everybody know, each time I talk about a specific subject, it's only from my experience. I'm only 18, but I've done a lot of shit when I was younger, so I'm, I know a lot of shit about a lot of shit. So, um, here to talk about cheaters. So, bear with me. If I don't hit every single aspect of cheating, I'm sorry. Again, I'm only 18. I'm not going to be like, if you talk to someone who's 40, who's like, yo, I know everything. Or if someone who's 50 or 60. So, um, cheaters. One thing about cheaters is they always like to, they always like to accuse you of cheating when they're cheating. That's like a simple fact. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. When, let's say this, when your girlfriend's like, are you cheating? And you've been faithful and you've been dodging every single girl. She hasn't seen you on Instagram liking up girls' pictures of anything. Like, on side note, if your man's liking a model, don't get pissed off at him. It's a fucking model. Like, there's no way this dude's gonna meet this chick in real life. If he's liking up his, his like, his best friend's picture, they fucking, I'm letting you know now, they fucking. Like, he might not say they fucking, but they fucking. Wanna know why they fucking? Because he liking up her picture. Got that. Soon they gonna have that triple like where it's like, I like you, then I like like you, now we fucking. Triple like. Um, but yeah, so cheating just pretty much goes in like these simple aspects. One, you add her, or you add her, or, uh, how do I put this? You either are with the person when you're supposed to be with the other person, or you're te you're sexing the person, or whatever. However, you guys get down in your own pr private time, you're doing whatever you're supposed to do with the person when you're really supposed to be with um, your girl, your man, whatever sexual aspect you got to. Now we got pansexual. On a side note, what the fuck is pansexual? Like, when what what happened to like, yo, I like dudes. I like chicks. Other than that, now it's like, well, I like what I like, and I like this. I'm like, nah, nigga, you still gonna get fucked by something. It, it's it's gonna be the end. Like, either you getting fucked by your man or you getting fucked by a chick. You, it really don't matter. You you still smashing something. Your pecker or your hole is getting penetrated or stick on something. Don't don't be like, yo, I'm pansexual, and then, and they all give this bullshit excuse about how, well, you don't understand how I feel. You know what you don't understand how I feel means? I found someone better, and I'm making up excuses for why I was sucking this dick last night. Or I found someone better, and I'm making excuses why I was licking her. Like, it, that's all it means. You don't understand what, I, you don't understand what I'm going through. That's really it. Like, the other case where you, you don't understand what, I go, what I'm going through is a valid is when the person actually has a general brings up a general point. Like if he's like, "Yo, you don't understand what I'm going through. Every time I try to talk to you, you don't do this, you don't do that, you just ignore me." Okay, that's understandable. Like you don't understand what I'm going through because you're not listening. All right, but if you're like, "You don't understand what I'm going through because like I was with I when I was trying to talk to you this one time, you didn't want to talk to me at the moment because you were busy, so I felt neglected and I went to go suck Dave's dick. That's not that's not a good example. That's not even a, a good answer. You can't be like, well, because the dude's gonna be like, what the fuck? How does that make sense? <laughs> you just gave your own you gave your own answer. You you gave me a reason just to realize you're a bitch, but like. And it even goes deeper down that. They have bigger cheating scandals where, like, the show's Cheater or How to Catch a, How to Catch a Cheater. That shit is entertaining. Let me tell you, that shit is entertaining. Like, the ma the fact these guys don't smash these girls, that's entertaining. Is that that one? That was funny. That 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 one chick went in and he 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 got down. He he wanted some ass. He he got in there. He was fixing her computer and everything, and he just went in. But um, like. It, it just, it really, I don't know, it's, it's just, a, it's an iffy subject because everybody, everybody gives reasons why cheating is acceptable and everybody gives reasons why cheating is not acceptable. Like, some of the reasons will be if he cheats on you, if they did something wrong to you first, well, exactly like if he cheats on you, if 
they're lying, if they're already, like, doing fishy shit. And then another thing is, what, why I feel like cheating's kind of BS is because, to be honest, nothing against girls, but y'all do be starting this shit first. Like, let's be realistic. Like, y'all, y'all accuse your man of cheating. When all he does is, I know it's fucked up, but he shouldn't be liking this girl's picture. It's a fucking picture. Is, is he? Is she in his lap right now, sucking his dick? Is she doing the shit you doing? If the dude's like, yo, I just want to like her picture. Okay, if he's like d giving signs that he's been with this girl, okay, then I understand you getting mad, but it's a fucking picture. Like, I don't understand why we take Instagram and social media so damn serious now. I remember when it was like, yo, you have to have physical proof. Which is why I don't, every time I date a girl, I always say this. They're like, well, my friends might like, you know, if I cheat, my friends will give up pictures and shit. I'm like, nah, I need physical. I need a video of you sucking this dude's dick in front of me. You kissing this guy. You doing whatever. Or some text message. Just not some bullshit. I don't not take really text messages. Now you can Photoshop that shit. Like, you can legit get programs to Photoshop this person saying it. It really don't matter. But, like, unless you have physical proof, stop stop fronting. Stop fronting. Like, I don't, I'm not biased on anything. If you cheat, you're a dick. Like, let's just be real. Like, that's, that's just flat out. I don't, that's man, man and woman. Like, with dudes, let, let's be real, dude. Let's be real right now. Why y'all tell your girl, I love you? But you write you you texting Jane on the side like yo. What 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 you doing tonight? Do you, you wanna fuck? Like you you can't and then just a few minutes right after you said I love you. That don't make sense. None, none of that shit makes sense. And then what what it just gets even worse. And all you really do like I'm not joking. I'm not joking. To be honest, girls cheat a lot more than dudes. The reason I say that is because girls don't have to try very hard. Girls just need to basically get naked and it works. You don't have to really try. You just get naked and it works. With dudes, we got to build up another relationship. You got to open the door again. It's like you're going to the store for milk. You got to reach in the back to get the freshest milk. And then when you pull it out, it's great. But you got to drive to the store, wait in the line, blah, 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 do, 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 and then you finally get the milk and eat it. That's what, that's what, that's basically what dudes have to do. Like, it's like going to the store. It's like you gotta, like, find the best variety of everything. Like, you gotta fight for it. Women are just like this. Would you wanna fuck? Like, they, they take the clothes off, like, would you like to fuck? That's, that's really it. Like, and can't nobody tell me that's not true. Like, let's be realistic. Can't nobody tell me that's not true. Like, if you have huge titties and a fat ass and your thin stomach, like, you can't tell me that's not, that's not going to get you laid instantly. It don't matter. And the reason why, like, girls cheat a lot more than dudes is because we as dudes don't make girls feel like we're, they're supposed to feel. We, we make them feel like they're, uh inadequate or not attractive enough or not this and it's all it's gonna be really stupid shit to us because we're like i'm here for you aren't i i provide food i feed you i make the money i do everything i'm supposed to do i take you out every friday but like in their mind you'll do one thing it will be like you talking to the waiter and you're being overly nice let's let's just be like this if you're like being super friendly with her okay they're gonna start thinking oh he's flirting because that's how that's how you got to that's how you got to start dating. You were overly friendly with her. So like switch it up. Every time you go on a date, be like this. Be friendly with the person, but don't like go over the top. If you're like hugging them and shit, and your hug is taking longer than three is taking longer than fucking five seconds, something's wrong. Like, okay, if it's your family, okay, go ahead. No one's gonna frost you on that. But, like, if your hug's taking, like, legit nine minutes, that's that's an over that risk. But if it's taking, like, let's say 15 seconds, and you're just there hugging them, and it's not your girl, it's not your mom, it's not your family, it's not anybody you know. You're just up there, and your girlfriend's on the side, and she's looking at it, she's going to get suspicious because she's like, okay, who the fuck is this bitch? That's what I always go through. And then another thing, because I'm about to end this, women, stop going through your man's phone. Okay, 
I get it. You're like, you want to be detectives. You want, you want to get in there. You want to find, like, if he's being fishy, you want to find out what's wrong. I get that. But, like, you cannot keep fucking just messing around with his phone every time he goes to the bathroom, checking his phone, like, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Because a good example is this. Like, let's say this. This actually happened to me. Matter of fact, this, this did happen to me. I'm with my ex chilling. I'm, I'm just, I'm chat. I'm fucking texting her and everything. Okay. I pick her up. Everything's good. I set my phone on the fucking table of Red Lobster. You know what she does? All she sees is the uh, fucking, I don't remember what the nickname I gave her. Oh, yeah. So I, I, all she sees is Tay. That's all, that's all it says. It says Tay. It doesn't say anything else. This chick flips the fuck out and was like, who's Tay? Oh, are you fucking her? Do you know her? I'm not retarded. Oh my god, I can't believe you did this to me. And I'm like, Tay is my homeboy. His name's Taylor. It's, it's my homeboy, Tay. Like, you fucking met him. And she's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Because <laughs> all black women do that. She was black. Like, no, it's not. You can't be doing this. You can't do blah, blah. I'm like, bitch, if you don't, I swear to God, that's the time she was want to be like, Ryu from fucking Street Fire. So you can. <laughs> but you can't do that. You can't, can't abuse women. But you really want to do that shit. Because it's like, why? 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 What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all keep doing this? Like, what the fuck is the problem here? But each time. As women and anybody do that, because guys do that too. We go to we go through our girls' phones sometimes. Guys do that too. Guys rarely do it because they don't give a shit. They're like, at least I smashed. Like, let's be honest. It, it, a guy's mission is this: I'm a fuck chick. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that, and we smash it. That is the whole example. Of the guy's mission, none of that extra shit. Women are like this: Why'd you do it? How'd you do it? When did you do it? This is how you fucked up. This is why you fucked up. Like, they give all these extra questions. You're like, yo, all I, I get it. I admit it. I fucked her. Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down, bitch. But, like, it really just, it gets to a sick point where you just got to, you add her. It comes toxic. Let's be real. It becomes toxic. It's like, each time you talk to this person, it starts becoming toxic because she, you're the, y'all, you're always gonna remember this. Sorry about that. She keeps accusing me, and he's always a yeah. That's what. That's pretty much what he's gonna remember. And what you're and what the female's gonna remember is he's untrustworthy. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. But all the guys gonna know is this. Man, this bitch is crazy. I'm gonna go fuck with Keisha. Trust me. There's always a black chick named Keisha. No matter what, it's always Keisha or or Deandra or Samantha. Rachel. Nah, you don't want to fuck with a chick named Rachel. You, you get, I get your balls cut off. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want to, don't want to fuck with her. Anyway, um, like, pretty much, you just stop accusing Nick. Stop accusing bitches and niggas of cheating. It's not, it's not healthy. Stop accusing people of cheating. Man, I cheated. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I cheated. I cheated like, I cheated a shit ton of times. I cheated. I mean, I'm. Hey, but I, I was, you know, I'm black, so I was just, I was just experiencing the black experience, like, you know, you just keep, you just, you experience it. I was happy with it. She was there. Back in the movie theater, I was, I was getting in there. I watched the movie and Smash. I was like, hell yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's cheating. Um, I don't know what else to say. This was dope, but um, yeah, the name of these segments are now going to be called Real Talk. It, it, that's what I'm just going to name it. I decided to do that for now. It's going to be called Real Talk with Akoshi. That's the name, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this has been Boy Akoshi G. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Shout out to Queen. Did not forget, almost. But, um, yeah, so, um, I'm out of here. I don't know what the fuck I'll say. I'll see you guys on the flip.